Hi everybody, this is Cheryl. Welcome to Tipsy Tuesday. Um, this week I'm going to talk about Christmas and um, some of the, the tips and tricks for Christmas. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is making your own gift bags and gift tags. Now for gift bags, all you have to do is go and buy you a package of the lunch bags. Um, you can get them in brown or white and you can just decorate them up however you want. Crayons, markers, paints, just however you want to do them, decorate them up. Save you some money on gift bags. Now, um, gift tags, at the end of Christmas, when you are putting away your Christmas stuff, get you a, a zipper bag and put all the Christmas cards in it you've collect, that you got during the Christmas season. On the back of each card, make sure you write the full name of whoever sent it to you and their address and other contact information, whatever you want to write on that. Then when you go and you get your Christmas stuff out, you pull that bag out and your Christmas card mailing list is right there. You have all the names and the addresses of all the people that you want to send Christmas cards to right there in the bag and that makes it easier for you to send out your mailing cards or your Christmas cards. Now when you've got that bag out you can make gift tags out of those old cards. Now this one seems kind of large and how are you going to make a tag out of that? Well let me show you here. Right here is one. See that? Right here is another. And right here is another. Now you can trace, cut around the actual shape or you can make them into squares or however you want to do it. But right there you have a gift tag. Now another thing that you can do for gift tags is when you are wrapping your uh, uh, Christmas gifts and you have these little pieces of, and strips of, of paper that you've trimmed off save those and make those into gift tags. Um, it's very easy to do and, and you would be able to save a lot of money on gift tags by doing that. So that covers wrapping gift tags and, and gift bags. Now let's talk about a calendar. This is just a simple piece of, of poster board. This is for the month of December and basically uh, it doesn't have to be fancy. You know, we even made a mistake up here and had to white out. It doesn't have to be fancy. This is for you to keep track of all the things that you have going on in December. And we all know how hectic and crazy it can get. Now on here, you want to include a few things. One, what did the day for you to make your Christmas decorations or take the time to repair your decorations and decorate. So, you know, you might have that up here somewhere. Another day that you want to put on here is baking day. What day are you going to bake all your goods? You know, you might have that for the 23rd. You know, put that on there. Baking day. Um, gift wrapping day. Okay, let's say that this is going to be our gift wrapping day. I put that aside for our gift wrapping day. So what I'm going to do is one day this week is going to be the day that I make my gift bags and gift tags. So plan out those things. Then you can put in all the social things like caroling at the nursing home, church dinner, you know, uh, going to mom's, you know, write in all the other social stuff, you know, the Christmas play at school. You know, whatever it is. Um, but use this to help you keep track of all the different things that you have going on for December. I'm sorry, I think uh, Blue's wanting to go outside. Um, so don't forget to take time also for yourself. Don't overdo it. You know, take time for yourself. All right, so... Um, the other thing is you can make um, Christmas gifts. 
and you want to set aside a day for making those Christmas gifts. A couple of ideas is uh, kits. This, all you all know by now, this is my fire starting kit. You know, um, a gift like that, you know, is real handy. Buy you some of these tins. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Make you up some little first aid kits or spice kits or sewing kits or something to give to people. Really nice, simple little gifts. Something I made out of a can like this and some decorative duct tape. I made this for Angel. She uses this for her all kinds of stuff. Her knitting, her sewing, just she keeps stuff in it. It's very handy. It looks good with her, her other stuff. It matches her, the stuff in her room, you know. Simple little gift like that means the world of difference. So make those little gifts for each other. Uh, take the time to, to schedule you a day to do gifts for, make gifts for people. Um, making decorations. Here is a very simple wreath. You all recognize this from my Christmas Advent activity. This is a simple wreath I bought this part of it at Dollar Tree. Thanksgiving Day, Chris and I went out. We like to go out and explore, and we went to an area close to the house, and we just went tramping through the woods, you know, and just kind of exploring and stuff. And we cut some of these branches off of some cedar trees and then used fishing line to wrap around there. Now it's not real fancy, it's not pretty, it's just something that's part of my, uh, you know, my Christmas Advent activity uh, series. And, you know, it's just a little prop, but you can make this as elaborate as you want. And I know Soggy Bottom Homestead done some fall um, uh, decorations. You could do, some, uh, you know, decorate for a Christmas wreath. And, you know, so go check out that channel and see how she made her fall one so you can get ideas of how you make Christmas one. Okay, so <clears throat> that's an idea for Christmas decorations. Uh, and then, of course, you all know my snow people. De simple decorations like this, do you know, this would be a very nice gift. My niece would love to get something like that, I'm sure. You know, that she'd love to have them around for her kids to, to have for Christmas. You know, something simple like that. Decorations are make nice gifts too. So, um, but that's just some ideas. Um, I'm going to keep this one kind of short. I don't want to get them too long because I am putting out a lot of videos right now. But those are some ideas that you can do for making your own things for Christmas. Uh, gifts gift bags, tags, decorations, that kind of thing. Um, so in the comments, uh, put down there anything that you might make for Christmas that helps your uh, decorating and gift ideas. All right, you all have a nice day. Talk to you soon. Bye.